Hello friends, welcome back to All on and Law. Today I'm going to talk about anatomy. Anatomy topics. Today's topic is germ layer derivatives. Germ layer derivatives. Guys, before starting a discussion on this, I would request you to subscribe to our channel. That's all on law and please do share our videos with your friends. We have more than 500 medical video lectures on a different medical topics to explain you very well and understand the basics. Okay? And score very well in your board examination. So, once again, I request you to subscribe and please do share our videos with your friends. So let me start with this. We have three germ layers that is ectoderm, mesoderm and endoderm. Okay? Right? So this is a beautiful table over here. Right? So this Sir, ectoderm is divided into two parts. Again, okay, three parts. Sorry, one is a surface ectoderm, neural neuroectoderm, and neural crest. Okay, guys. Right. The three things. The ectoderm is divided into surface ectoderm, neuroectoderm. And the neural crest and the mesoderm is same whereas the endoderm those which forms epithelial parts forms the epithelial parts and those which forms parenchymal parts okay guys so let me take a start with the ectoderm and that to surface ectoderm Okay. Surface ectoderm. In the surface ectoderm, the derivatives are epidermis. Okay. Here. nails enamel of teeth teeth inner ear and external ear external ear okay guys Lens of an eye, anterior pituitary, Ante anterior pituitary, okay, anterior pituitary gland, and the parotid. Okay, guys, right. So let's move on to this, the surface ectoderm, the derivatives are epidermis, hair, nails, enamel of teeth, internal and external ear, uh, lens, anterior pituitary and a parotid gland. Okay guys, so we have a neuroectoderm, we have a neuroectoderm, let me change the color, neuroectoderm, neuroectoderm, let's move on to this. The neuroectoderms, the derivatives are neural tube, neural tube, okay, the neural tube, the, in the neural tube, the two derivatives, one is a central nervous system, central nervous system, CNF, and the other one is, there are many actually, sorry for that, retina, retina 
optic nerve optic nerve pineal gland pineal gland neuro hypophysis neuro hypophysis astrocytes 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 and oligodendrocytes oligo dendrocytes okay let's move on to the neural crest neural crest neural crest let me change the color the derivatives of the neural crest are adrenal medulla adrenal medulla then we have a sensory and autonomic ganglia sensory and autonomic ganglia okay then we have Sean cells Sean cells then we have pigmented cells pigmented cell pigmented cells then we have meninges meninges that's a pair and arachnoid arachnoid okay right so now we have pharyngeal arch cartilage pharyngeal arch cartilage okay then we have odontoblast odonto odontoblast then we have parafollicular c cells parafollicular c cells okay the other two one are aortico pulmonary septum and endocardial cushion so you know about the aorto sorry aorto pulmonary aortico pulmonary okay septum right and the last one is endocardial cushions the endocardial cushion i think you remember something disease some disease in the heart right that's very common can you guess okay that's left to you guys so let me move on to the next important that is a mesoderm mesoderm is nothing but the muscles that arise from this the muscles are smooth muscles cardiac muscles and the skeletal muscles okay the connective tissue connective tissue all serous membranes serous membranes okay then my bones and cartilages bone and cartilages then we have blood lymph cardiovascular organs blood lymph cardiac organs cardiovascular organs adrenal cortex adrenal cortex very important because adrenal medulla arises from neural crest that is the ectoderm remember gonads and the internal reproductive organs gonads okay and internal reproductive organs internal reproductive organs then we have kidney and a ureter and dura mater kidney ureter and dura mater dura mater dura mater okay 
guys so did you get me good let's go to the last one change the color be fast endoderm right endoderm let's start the endoderm forms the epithelial we have the one that forms the epithelial cells epithelial parts like tonsils thymus pharynx tonsils thymus pharynx larynx okay trachea just go down to the respiratory system whatever you get that forms a from is formed from endoderm trachea then we have the larynx trachea bronchi and lungs right good now the other parts are urinary bladder urinary bladder then we have urethra okay the but the ureter is formed from mesoderm remember then the tympanic cavity tympanic cavity okay then we have auditory tube and GI tract auditory tube and GI tract and GI tract okay from esophagus till the intestine right now the other part that is a parenchymal part parenchymal part is liver pancreas okay tonsils again the tonsils some part of it that is the parenchymal part is formed from the endoderm right the pancreas tonsils liver thyroid gland okay then we have parathyroid gland then we have glands of GI tract okay glands all the glands because glands are lined by the parenchymal tissue then we have submandibular gland and sublingual gland submandibular and sublingual okay guys so this is all about the germ layer derivatives important for USB step on anatomy so before ending this I would request you to subscribe to our channel I'm sure it was a very helpful video for you and please do not forget to subscribe and please do not forget